Hello, I'm Red Feather Free. Some call me the Dragon Shaman. Today's lesson on shamanism is about power animals and the vulture in particular, or the condor. And how when you see or you, you feel an influence of the, the vulture, how it represents many things. The vulture is the, the supreme carrier away of, of death and it, it's always around carcasses. When you see a vulture in the sky, a circle, you know that a body is below or what's about to turn into a dead body for them to feast on. They're scavengers, which is actually a very noble thing if you think about it. They don't kill to eat. Now, I don't know biologically if that's true for all condors or vultures. Some of them may kill things, I don't know, but they're, I know that they're scavengers by nature. So the reason I'm talking about power animals though is if you feel an influence of the condor or the vulture, for instance, like I did earlier today, I walked out on my patio, was getting ready to take my dog for a walk, and I live on the third story, and down the hill on the other side of my complex, I could see on the, the roofs of the other buildings, three really large vultures, and it's what caught my eyes, one swooped right in front of me, kind of as I, as I stepped out on my balcony, and then flew down to join the other two. And then one by one, they flew from that building, and they skipped. The buildings are colored too, there's like an orange one and a bluish one and another orange one. And they skipped the bluish one and went from orange to orange. And the first one went and landed on the right chimney and the second one went and landed in the middle. And finally the third one waited and he looked around and he went again. But when he went, he went to the right um, like chimney or, or exhaust vent as well. And the first bird went over to the adjacent one. And this just made me think of wisdom and three the number of the of the architect the influence the it shows to step back and analyze your plans before you you proceed lay out what you've got you know every every good architect or every good job superintendent knows all his materials he knows all his his subcontractors he knows the dates the timeline the budget everything and he, he is wise and prudent enough to orchestrate it more or less flawlessly if he's a good conductor or a good architect. But in order to do that, you have to have the ability to withdraw or disconnect yourself sometimes from being so intimately involved in things to get the big picture, the up high view that the condor has. And just like that third condor today took a while to, to fly, he, he had to survey the territory to make sure it was cool because he was the oldest and the wisest and he knew best. He let the fool rush in as evidence, when he came to take his spot on the perch, the fool hopped over to the lesser, a little bit slightly lower down chimney. Nature teaches us all sorts of things if we choose to look and listen with our hearts and our minds and our souls and our spirits and our bodies all combined. Bless you. I love you all.